so we talked of so many types of pollution the air pollution water pollution soil pollution noise pollution and the radioactive pollution there must be something done to reduce this type of pollution so that who will be beneficial finally all the living organisms and human beings will be beneficial so there are some abatement of pollution now what do you mean by the word abatement abatement is the corrective steps which are taken to minimize the effect of pollution on ecosystem so the corrective steps mean the steps which can correct our wrong things so corrective steps to minimize the effect of pollution on the ecosystem that is abatement abatement of pollution now what can be done the government of india has from their side has laid down some acts and, and laws and these are the three acts which they have laid down according to that it has to be maintained the pollution has to be maintained below the level and there are some punishments also according to the law which acts they have laid down that is water act in 1974 that was the control and prevention of water contamination then air act in 1981 again control of air pollution in the air and environment act in 1986 the act which act, as a whole the environment pollution is maintained or controlled and when people who are violating this are given a severe punishment these are the laws laid down by the pollution control but who is implementing them there are some con pollution control boards which are implementing them central pollution control board cpcb and since we are talking about maharashtra the maharashtra pollution control board mpcb these are the government bodies which are actually working with the municipalities with the zilla parishad with the gram panchayat with all the other uh, governing bodies which implement these laws and if these laws are broken or a violation is seen severe punishment in the terms of fine or jail is also given but how to carry out this there are some methods which are adopted some methods in an outline we are going to see which type of methods are taken or adopted to reduce the pollution first is the dilution of sources whichever are the sources of air pollution whichever are the sources of water pollution noise pollution that sources only has to be diluted or that sources also only has to be reduced that is one of the major role which should be played this is the method adopted second the source correction method now we have identified the source we have diluted the source but there should be some corrective methods applied to it like changing the raw material if the raw material is producing large amount of pollutants change the raw materials to something which may produce less in comparative then process modification whichever process we are following to make that product if that process is producing too much of gaseous pollutants too much of solid pollutants that type of uh, modification is required in that process then using effective pollution controlling equipments nowadays number of equipments number of machines are available which can actually control the pollution which can actually arrest these type of pollutants to make, mix with the environment those type of pollution controlling devices should be used an effluent and sewage treatment plant now it is compulsory for all the industries and the factories to treat their sewage first they should have a sewage treatment plant in their premises where they are removing all the dirt all the chemicals which are uh, before putting it in the water so that is called effluent effluent is the sewage which is coming out through factories and industries and this treatment plant is treating these chemicals so that they come they are forming such type of salts which is soluble in water and they are not harmful to the water or soil such type of methods can be adopted and which are actually monitored by such these boards control pollution control boards board that is central and maharashtra government now besides all the government uh, rules and regulations and acts do we have as a citizen of our country do we have any role in actually helping them to reduce the pollution we can we can reduce pollution we can limit pollution if we want 
we can start from our house from our surroundings from our society from our village from our town and cities what role do citizens play in this citizens have very simple roles to play for example plant more trees if there are more trees what will happen the atmosphere will become more fresh more amount of oxygen will be provided to the atmosphere and the amount of carbon dioxide amount of sulfur dioxide that it may become dilute so more trees better environment friendly it will become save fossil fuels now we are making use of petrol diesel cng lpg all these are fuels obviously these are all fossil fuels if we make use of fossil fuels in limited amount then we are not creating that much pollution as it is created now i can limit if i can walk i should walk to particular place instead of taking my car or scooter or any vehicle so this is possible from us use public transport if you want to go somewhere and public transport is available in every city and town so here public transport should be made use of one bus can carry 50 people and those 50 people if they carry their own vehicles 50 vehicles are outside so it's better always that public vehicle is used instead of your own vehicle if possible then use non conventional sources of energy conventional sources of energy are petrol diesel which are in actually the fossil fuels what are non conventional sources of energy they are the solar energy the wind energy the tidal energy the energies which can be utilized by uh, us which are not producing so many types of pollutants then maintain your vehicles now when we buy a scooter or a car or any other vehicle it needs continuous maintenance and that maintenance should be done by us we have to get it serviced every three to four months so what will happen your vehicle will run smoothly without producing much exhaust gases which may, might contain number of pollutants keep cleanliness cleanliness are in our house around our house in our society in our cities is in our hands just do not throw the garbage anywhere if you are you are throwing garbage outside your house but what about the people walking you are also walking you cannot walk through your roads if it is so dirty so first work we have to keep our surroundings clean and then if we are keep following all these rules we are actually becoming free from pollution and that pollution has, is creating lot of problems in our lives in our health in our working efficiency and therefore it is very very necessary that we should follow the rules and regulations we should follow as a citizen of our country we should not create pollution from our side so this was about the evs lesson of science one striving for better environment this is the end of the lesson this lesson has the weightage of four marks that means four mark question can come in some short answers or a long answer this is the end of lesson, lesson number 14.